good morning so um i'm blocked from my facebook page until i don't know i think the 28th anyway i sent in an appeal but i don't know how long it's going to take so here i am on tiktok so i see kieran bruce aka Mudwater. since i came out and i spoke about what he did and why you shouldn't support his gofundme his gofundme was removed and suspended and now he he deleted everything, removed everything, and he went over to again uncut. And of course, he started attacking me because you know I suspend, I made his GoFund, GoFundMe got suspended, and people are not donating anymore to him because people actually know that yes, Mudwater is Kieran Bruce. So he started. So here's the funny thing. So you know when people people try really hard to make. People want so bad to believe that you're an actually bad person or make you out to be the bad person. They do the most and the minute somebody do something or post something with your name Melly Mel it on social media, they run with it without even fact checking, without even looking at the fine details just because they want to believe, they want to jump on the bank, on the bandwagon so bad and they want to believe so bad they want to make you out so bad to be a bad person and i see that with those people that every time my name is mentioned in a story that turns out to be not true turns out to be false because of course i have all my evidence and i have all my proof and then they end up looking stupid and then they try to play it off so kieran posted that i would have leaked I would have sent somebody nudes to him so what he did he attempted to do what Dharmalal tried to do a couple of months ago make up a conversation between me and somebody so um, for the dunce in the back let me let me let me show you let me enlighten you on how you try to prove that you and somebody have a conversation and it's actually them anybody can edit a number and put my name Melly Mel my page logo the, the Melly Mel show because of course the 929-389-9957 number is public I made it public so anybody can take my logo and, uh, and edit it what they can't do right is edit actual conversations on the whatsapp right so I have had me and Mudwater conversation from since 2019 conversations that he don't have by the way I'm gonna tell you why he don't have those conversations because when the police confiscated his his equipment and his phone and all of that when they went and arrest him the first time you see this number the six five nine six one five one number was the local number that he was using right so when they took his phone and, and, and the equipment he would have lost most of his chats and conversations because, of course, the police were investigating and trying to prove that he was mud water. They run down, they got the number of the person whose the, the number was in and all of that. So they confiscated this number and this phone and he still don't have it. So he don't have access to these conversations that I'm showing you that I have still in my phone because y'all know. I don't delete nothing and I save all my evidence. I even have telegram conversation with me and Kieran Bruce telling me how to make my number not visible on Instagram and to create a channel to come and work with him and all these things. So this is the conversation we had here. I don't know if you can see where he's telling me about my nudes being leaked and don't feel no way you gotta post it then he come back and he say oh azariel contact him and apparently look you see apparently that he pay azariel to sing the song and he leaked that legend anyway he explaining what happened and that he would have put the post up and then after azariel contacted him he took it down so you see here it's february the 12th 2021 you see the top there six five nine six one five one that is an actual conversation between me and Mudwater, between me and AKA Kieran, me and Kieran Bruce. And I can prove it because you see what I did there. There is the date present and there is his number present. It's the former number that he used to use. So if you're bringing out evidence, Kieran Bruce, stop making up conversations because now he's trying to save his ass. So what he's doing is trying to make up all these conversations.
let's discredit Mary Mel at all costs because I tell the truth. The only cre the only credible source here, Kieran Bruce. The only credible source here in this situation is me. You are not credible. You're not a credible person. Anybody that could hide behind a carton character to do the things you do, to leak nudes of young girls, teenagers, children, and women, you're a coward. You're a low-life coward. So this is an actual conversation. And here's the funny thing. I see Miss Dumbo run. Because, like I said, it's so easy. They want to believe that Melly Mel is such a is a bad person, so bad. They want to prove so bad to the world that I'm such a bad person. Remember, they ain't getting nothing to prove that I'm a bad person. So any little thing, the grabbing, the hustling for 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 for, for little clicks and like. So knowing that we are in a current court case for the same thing for making scandalous and defamatory statements without having the facts or the proof. You run with an edited conversation that Kieran Bruce made up and post on his page, repost it, calling my entire name again, saying, insinuating that I leaked your nudes to Mudwater. Girl, Dumbo Granny, you will have to prove that in court, and I pray and hope Kieran, would have, Kieran Bruce will have to provide that evidence for you. I have never, ever swear on my son's life, sent anyone nudes or leak anybody naked skin, videos, a picture, or anything like that to Kieran Bruce. I'm a victim of my, of my nudes being leaked. I'm a victim of that. I will not do the same. I don't care how much unlike. Unlike her, that's full with hate and racism and all of that. I'm not like that. I won't do that to my worst enemy. I won't do that shit. Because at the end of the day, whether you like me or not, we're all women. Okay? And being a victim of that, I advocate for that. I would still go and send. Yeah. Here's the funny thing. I don't even think about that bitch. I don't care. I don't watch it. Like, I don't. Like I don't, y'all ever notice? Y'all ever see me post or relate to anything? We in, we we're in currently in court, and and that's it. We're in court. We let the court make the decision. I don't think. I don't post. I don't think. She's always clutching at straw like a dog, just waiting for a little content or something to go on my page, and then she run with it her page. And it's going to continue to get her in trouble because the evidence is mounting up for court, and I am just waiting to have my day. Because at this point, it's ridiculous that after you got yourself in trouble, you're still running with unverified, false information to put out about me on your social media page. And yes, we live in America and you have freedom of speech, but you don't have freedom of defamation and, or freedom of scandal. So... I see he start another thing on his page now where he's talking to himself. So he's basically writing messages to himself claiming that, oh, it was a fraud all along and he's apologizing to people. And he's, no, you need to, Kieran, you need to apologize to all those little girls and all those women nudes that you leaked in the underworld. Do you encourage or you enable, you know, big men to leak? Those are, those, those are who you need to be apologizing to. You're apologizing to a pedophile, a rapist, about, oh, it was a plot all along. Kieran Bruce on Cut Guyana, since you're a credible source, do one thing for me. Show the conversation like this, like how I'm showing it, with the, with the, with the date, with the number, so that they can verify that it's actually me. That is what you need to do. Remove my name. Because unlike you, I have our conversations from since 2019 that I could remove your name all anytime, Mudwater, and show your number, show the date, the time, and everything that I need to prove that I was actually talking to you and to prove that our conversation was actually authentic. You can't do that. You can't prove that I've ever in this lifetime or the next Send anyone nudes or leak anyone nudes to you. And for those of you who run and jump and jump on the bank wagon, I see, I saw do, I see, I see the one. Those of you who said, "Oh, Melly Mel will never do something like that." Who know me? Know me. No, I would 